All righty, we've got Mike Peterson here. If you have a question for him, raise your hand. I'll call on you. And Doug Feinberg, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Doug, it says you're on mute, my friend. Hey, Coach, sorry about that. It was two Zooms at once. Um, you're that guy, though. Doug, you are that. If anybody can handle it, it's you, my man. Yeah, I wish. Like, apparently not. Um, my question for you, two port, when you played them last time, you guys jumped every ball screen, if I remember correctly, which was really effective. Is that something? Well, you, most of them, most of them. Is that something you probably were planning to try again tonight, see if they adjust to it or mix it up? It, it, it's who we are. I, I mean, we're aggressive on ball screens all the time. So, uh, as much as it may not look like it, sometimes we usually have a plan on when to do that. Uh, so it, it's a part of how we play. So yeah, we'll still do some of that for sure. Spencer Netzbaum, go ahead. Hey coach, how are you doing today? Good, good Spencer. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I, I wanted to ask, I mean, obviously you've had some time to review the film from last game. Um, at, at this point, is there anything that caught your eye about the most recent loss that you're looking to either prevent or change up in this game? The biggest thing from last game, frankly, two things. Uh, I mean, they just, they got the ball inside on us quite a bit. And some of that is they're really good at getting the ball inside. You, you know, I mean, they went to Vegas, who's bigger than anybody, and shoved it down their throat. So uh, the biggest thing out of the last game is we had from the eight-minute mark in the fourth quarter when we were up nine, uh, we, we had seven possessions where we just got super passive offensively. And, uh, you know, we only went to the rim one time in those possessions. And the one time we went, Kennedy got a layup. The rest of them, we just kind of were around the three-point line or we really didn't get anything going or we turned it over once on the break because we weren't really aggressive enough. And, and during that stretch, they got it back to where now it was tied with three minutes. And now we're playing a one-possession game down the stretch, right? And so, you know, the thing for me out of that game was that was the – kind of the time segment where we could have done a better job. And so we, you know, we talked about it, we looked at it, but, but again, you know, this is a team that still has never had it starting line up together and we're three possessions from being eight and five and in like fourth place right now. So it'll be a process and we'll keep working on it. Our players have been good. They've given great energy and we'll just keep, keep getting better. Spencer, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So additionally, I mean, last time out against New York, uh, Sammy and Michaela gave you guys a lot of trouble. Um, how does your approach on them change compared to when you played them in May? Well, well a lot of uh, uh, Michaela giving us trouble was our rotations out of trying to trap Laney and Sabrina. Right. And we didn't rotate quite well enough. So we need to rotate better to her. Uh, in, in take away the standing threes. Uh, and, you know, Sammy got us the way Sammy gets people with her energy and she's a really gifted player. You know, I, I mean, there's a reason she's a member of the Australian Olympic team. She's a very good basketball player. So we need to do a better job of finding her in transition. She got us some in transition. We got to do a better job of finding her there and communicating in transition. And back to you, Doug. Go ahead. Mike, I know you've probably watched film of them the last couple of games. They can't buy a three-pointer. Does that concern you that those numbers usually tend to even out eventually? I'd prefer what it looked like the last two games, if that's what you're asking me. I mean, they have good shooters. You know what I mean? And it, you know, everybody thinks that if you're a 40% three-point shooter, you go two for five every night, or you go four for 10 every night. That's just not how it works. There's nights where you go one for five or one for eight and other nights where you go six for eight. So, you know, again, we need to make sure we close people out. We need to make sure we make their threes difficult. And, and if we do that, if we're making them take the shots we want them to take, then you live with the results and you try to rebound the misses. Spencer, back to you. Yeah, I, I know you talked about this a little bit last game, um, but there's obviously been a couple of days since then uh, in terms of how Kennedy is doing. Um, yeah. Do you, do you have an update on just how she's looked in practice um, and anything you caught watching the film from the game that you didn't necessarily see at the start? No, she played great. I mean, 
for somebody to have injured their shooting arm and then had whatever she had about two weeks out, right? With, with really no practice and some individual work and some shooting, you know, I thought she responded really well. Usually when a player has been out that length of time, there's some unevenness to their return to play. And I, I thought her, I, I thought she was great. Very aggressive finish, got people shots, got her self shots. Our pace was really good when she was in. So, and, and I thought she handled the workload pretty well. Like she wasn't gassed immediately. Sometimes when you've had time off, no matter how hard you've worked on your conditionings, if you're not playing in games, you'll get gassed early. And I didn't sense that. So, no, I thought she was very good and, and hoping she can back it up again tonight. All right. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks, everybody.